Well, the Supreme Court has basically made being homeless illegal, saying that cities can enforce a camping ban even if uh, there are no places for people to sleep. If shelters are full and people are forced to sleep outside, well, now you're SOL because you can go to jail. Uh, before that, uh, if... Uh, if the shelters were full, cops technically weren't allowed to arrest people for sleeping outside because they had no choice but to sleep outside. But now the Supreme Courts are saying, well, we don't care. You're going to jail. Um, with the rising amount of homeless people, there's going to be a lot more people in prisons and it's going to get crowded and there's going to be issues. Uh, and uh, jailing homeless people doesn't give people a house. It doesn't get them into a house faster. It makes it harder for homeless people to get into a proper living situation. Well, David, many people have been waiting for this decision to drop for the past couple of weeks now, and they're not surprised at how the Supreme Court voted. But while uh, this decision won't have any immediate impact here on the streets of Portland, many see this as the first step towards potential long-term change. Early Friday morning, the U.S. Supreme Court decided punishing people for sleeping outside when there is nowhere else to go does not violate the Constitution, a move one might think would radically change how Western cities respond to the homeless crisis, but not exactly. It's truly insane to think it's okay to punish people because they have nowhere to sleep. It's something everybody needs to do but if you're homeless the supreme court thinks you don't need to sleep especially here in portland we still have to comply with the state law that state law is house bill 3115 requiring oregon cities to create their own rules around homeless camping and they must be reasonable taking into account available shelter then the question for the legislature is do they then want to revise or get rid of House Bill 3115? A Portland City Commissioner and Mayor... Now, if, if cities wanted to uh, actually uh, get, like, homeless people up and not give them houses, which would be the, you know, logical thing, they could just create a campground where homeless people could go camp. They would have... Uh, ha they would have access to public bathrooms and stuff like that, and they would all be in one area. It'd be easier to clean up, you know, the areas and stuff like that, and they wouldn't be in various random locations throughout the city because they would have a legal place to sleep. Candidate Rene Gonzalez oh, says if state. elected, he would push the state to be more in line with the Supreme Court ruling. Yeah, huge problem for the city of Portland. Really need Governor Kotak and the state legislature to fix their mistake here. It doesn't appear Governor Tina Kotek will be doing that anytime soon. Her office sent KGW the following statement Friday, saying, regardless of the court's decision, we must do all we can to address homelessness. This includes addressing the primary driver of homelessness, our lack of affordable housing. What makes it yeah, putting people in jail doesn't make houses more affordable. It doesn't allow these people to get into housing. It doesn't give these people the ability to get a job, which they're like a ton of working homeless people. People that do have a job, they're employed, they get a check, but they're still homeless because housing is unaffordable. And that's the big reason a lot of people are becoming homeless nowadays, because rent is becoming unaffordable with the lack of increase in wages, and buying a house is extremely unaffordable when it's three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars to buy a house. Um, what we need to do to fix that is to make it illegal for large corporations to buy up as many properties as they want, um, fix the prices of housing for rent so that landlords can't just arbitrarily raise the rent anytime they want uh, so that houses stay affordable. 
Portland City Commissioner and mayoral candidate Carmen Rubio, recently endorsed by Governor Kotek, held a similar stance, saying in part, quote, we must continue to think big and keep stepping up housing production. But some homeless advocates who work in Portland's Old Town neighborhood believe the Supreme Court ruling will eventually harm those living on our streets. We do see this as like the first chip, chipping away at the rights that we've worked so hard for. We still have a lot of people in our community who are suffering. It's just furthering the criminalization of poverty. It's a continuation of the war on the poor, and we're only going to see this get worse until we make changes to our socioeconomic system. I think we need to work together to find humanity. Yeah, because this makes it this makes it illegal to be poor and homeless. The ability of this, of cops arrest people for sleeping outside because there's not enough shelter beds. I mean, what are homeless people supposed to do if the city decides to remove all of their homeless shelters and nobody has a place to sleep inside? Are they just going to arrest every single homeless person? That would be insane. Humanitarian outcomes that serves everyone's interests. Including people like Charles. I'm a veteran. And I didn't, I didn't fight for that. In a tent on the sidewalk with nowhere else to go. Uh, I'd like to see uh, Clarence Thomas out here for a little while and see, you know, how he feels about that. And what about all the right-wingers who constantly harken about, oh, uh, Democrats aren't doing anything for the vets, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't look like Republicans are doing anything for the vets. Why are there homeless vets? Shouldn't these people? Get a house to live in. Now, this Supreme Court decision comes just three days before the city of Portland is set to enforce its ban on homeless camping, which follows state law, meaning that homeless people sleeping on our sidewalks could face jail time if they refuse the offer of shelter. However, if there is no available shelter, well, we could just see more.